This is Moment of Silence Daily Gospel Reading. The Lord be with you. A reading from the second book of Kings. Jehoiakim was 18 years old when he came to the throne, and he reigned for three months in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Nehushta daughter of Elnathan of Jerusalem. He did what is displeasing to Yahweh, just as his father had done. At that time the troops of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon advanced on Jerusalem, and the city was besieged. Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon advanced on the city and his generals laid siege to it. Jehoiakim king of Judah he, his mother, his retinue, his nobles and his officials, then surrendered to the king of Babylon, and the king of Babylon took them prisoner in the eighth year of his reign. The latter carried off all the treasures of the temple of Yahweh and the treasures of the palace and broke up all the golden furnishings which Solomon king of Israel had made for the sanctuary of Yahweh, as Yahweh had foretold. He carried all Jerusalem off into exile, all the nobles and all the notables, ten thousand of these were exiled, with all the blacksmiths and metalworkers, only the poorest people in the country were left behind. He deported Jehoiakim to Babylon, as also the king's mother, his officials and the nobility of the country, he made them all leave Jerusalem for exile in Babylon. All the men of distinction, seven thousand of them, the blacksmiths and metalworkers, one thousand of them, all the men capable of bearing arms, were led off into exile in Babylon by the king of Babylon. The king of Babylon deposed Jehoiakim in favor of his paternal uncle Madaniah, whose name he changed to Zedekiah. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm God, the pagans have invaded your heritage, they have defiled your holy temple, they have laid Jerusalem in ruins, they have left the corpses of your servants as food for the birds of the air, the bodies of your faithful for the wild beasts. Around Jerusalem they have shed blood like water, leaving no one to bury them. We are the scorn of our neighbors, the butt and laughing stock of those around us. How long will you be angry, Yahweh? Forever. Is your jealousy to go on smoldering like a fire? Do not count against us the guilt of former generations. In your tenderness come quickly to meet us, for we are utterly weakened. Help us, God our Savior, for the glory of your name, Yahweh. Wipe away our sins, rescue us for the sake of your name. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. It is not anyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, who will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the person who does the will of my Father in heaven. When the day comes many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, drive out demons in your name, work many miracles in your name. Then I shall tell them to their faces, I have never known you, away from me, all evildoers. Therefore, everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a sensible man who built his house in rock. Rain came down, floods rose, gales blew and hurled themselves against that house, and it did not fall, it was founded on rock. But everyone who listens to these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a stupid man who built his house on sand. Rain came down, floods rose, gales blew and struck that house, and it fell, and what a fall it had. Jesus had now finished what he wanted to say, and his teaching made a deep impression on the people because he taught them with authority, unlike their own scribes. The Gospel of the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.